holster. See this shit out here? It's just a car. It's moments like these that led to a two-year investigation ultimately getting that BSO deputy fired for using excessive force. And when asked at a later time if he would do things differently, the deputy's response showed no regret. With that and more, let's go to CBS 4's Joel Waldman. He is live at BSO headquarters tonight with the details. Joel? Kelly and Lauren, good evening to both of you. As you said, there was no remorse, quite the contrary, actually, which helped lead to the deputy getting fired. It was this blow to the head of a North Lauderdale suspect that helped deal the final blow to Sheriff Deputy Ron Thurston's nearly 23 year career at the Broward Sheriff's Office. Bro, come on, bro, get off me, bro. Hey. Hey, bro, come on, bro, get off me, bro. Hey, I'm gonna shoot you. An internal BSO investigation found Deputy Thurston used excessive force back on April 1st, 2020. At one point, pressing his knee on the suspect's neck despite complaints of discomfort. You stupid, man. You stupid. BSO finding the deputy had every chance to de-escalate the situation, choosing not to. A gun was found during a pat-down of the suspect. Excessive force is something Sheriff Gregory Tony made it clear he will not tolerate. I've said time and time again that when deputies do the right thing, I'll have their back and support them. Conversely, when deputies are accused of stepping out of line, they'll be investigated and when necessary, held accountable for their actions. Run, tell the truth! Run, tell the truth! Deputy Thurston was in the news about two months after his controversial arrest for posting a critical social media post about diversity in the department. His sister had this to say at the time. I don't think that the sheriff likes my brother very much for speaking his mind. Now, BSO uh, revealed during its investigation that when asked if he could do things differently in the future, Thurston said, I probably would have killed him right there and we wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. Now, back in 2020, the state's attorney's office declined to file criminal charges against Deputy Thurston. Reporting live from BSO headquarters, Joel Waldman. CBS 4 News.